everyone. I am Paul Ravindran. I welcome you all to my channel Physics Plus. In this video, I am going to show you the 1D Water Phantom that I developed at home. The interesting thing about this 1D Water Phantom is that several parts of it were 3D printed by me at home. What you see on the left is the 1D Water Phantom. It has got a perspex stand, which of course I bought, and a system that can move the ion chamber within the water phantom. This block, what you see on the top, has got an assembly in which the stepper motor is fixed. And at the bottom of it, you have a tiny, you see a tiny box which holds a Hall effect sensor. This is the ion chamber holder, which can move up and down using this lead screw and the stepper motor. And on top of this, I have a small magnet, which when it reaches the Hall effect sensor will activate the sensor to stop the stepper motor. At the bottom, I have an assembly in which the rods and the lead screw are fixed. This is the box that has the control unit, the electronics of it. It has got an Arduino UNO board, a motor sheath and a Bluetooth sensor. On the right, what you see is my cell phone, and you can see an icon here called 1D Scanner. This is an app that I have developed using MIT App Inventor to control this 1D Scanner. What I'm going to do now is to show you a small demo of how I use my app to control this 1D Scanner. I have now started the app. As you can see here, there is a Bluetooth connection. And go there, I can see 1D scanner Bluetooth here. I connect it to it, it takes a few seconds. Once I come here, I press initialize, which means this will now, the block will now start moving upwards towards the Hall effect sensor. Now, the depth is shown as 4. It doesn't change now because the system does not know what the actual depth is because it was not initialized yet. This is the actual depth and this is the set depth. You can set zero here at any point, and from that point, what is the depth is shown here. Till it is initialized, the rest are all great. Now it is going to reach, and now Hall of Sensor has seen the magnet, so it is initialization is over. Now all these have been activated. You can now click down. You can see this is moving down, and the depth on both are shown, which will be the same, because you have not set any depth yet. I'm sorry, we have not set any depth yet. And we will go up to 3 centimeters, let me say. And I've gone up to 3.2. I can come up by moving up by 2 millimeters and 0.5, and it will now become 3. Right? It is 3 here, and it's 3 here. I'm going to now click on set depth. Now this has become 0, and this is still 3. I'm going down now, press down, and I can see this one is showing the depth from this where you set zero, right? And this one is showing depth from the initialization point. I stopped at two centimeter depth from the set point. Actually, it is 2.2. I went back to two by clicking on uh, two millimeter up. And now what I can do, we can check is, we can go back to zero and see it should be three or go to three, which should be zero. So I move up now. You can see that when this becomes zero, this should be three. That's where we set zero, right? I gone a little up. Oh God, I gone up to 0.25 minus. I can come down by pressing 0.2 and then uh, two millimeter and 0.5 millimeter. Now it is zero and you can see it's three. Shall we check when we go back to the point of initialization, what happens? You press up again. And once you press up, it goes to the point. It's moving up now, you can see it. And when it reaches here, this Hall of sensor should stop it and it should go back to the initialization value of zero. And this should be minus three, should be minus three. Let us see that now. Yes, it has stopped and it's minus three and zero. So my 1D water phantom works perfectly. Thank you very much.